Hiya, welcome back to the channel. So today we're on the uh, E46 and um, we've got an issue where when I open the door, which I should have really demonstrated, but when I open the door, there's water that collects all on here, as you can see by that lovely clean area. Um, and open the door and it just starts like dripping as it's landed there. Uh, like I said, I probably should have started filming before I opened the door, but I didn't. Oh, you see a drip there anyway. So anyway, right, this video is trying to rectify that issue. Now, if we look underneath here, if we think about where it's coming from, it's sort of landing here. Um, so that, well, it's, it's coming from around there. Now, if we look underneath the door, we get more of an insight because you can see that's actually coming from round here. Now, the door seal sits against this part. So what I think is happening is it's coming from the vapour barrier and it's sitting here until the door's opened, which is releasing it to piss out all over here. So I'm going to have a look at the vapour barrier and see if that's what's up with it. So to do that, I need to remove the door card, which first I take this trim off, which pretty much just pulls off. And then there's a little torch bit there, I think it's a T25 or some shit, but we'll check in a minute. I need to pull that out of there, which requires use of the designated trim removal tool. And being nice and careful not to damage this, this leather round here whilst doing so. Um, but it is quite hard to get out, so I'm going to do that off camera so I don't actually fuck all the leather up. Yes. And then inside there... There is another screw, if I remember right, as you can see, which is a T20. So I'll take that shitter out. Try not to drop it inside the door card. So that's one removed. There is this one here, which we spoke of before, another T20. Let's set this one off. And there is another one as well. Oh, there's at least one more. There's one more that I can remember of. And then when I take that one out, there might be another one that I've forgotten about, but we'll find out. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So there's that one. And then, inside here, there's another one. Also, a T20. Nice and carefully removed. Also, trying not to drop. Right, so that's that one, that one, and that one removed. And of course, I did forget one. There's one there as well. So, I need to do the same with this one. Also, a T20. It's removed in the same way as that one, so I don't really need to film it. But I will anyway in the name of being thorough and up in the watch time. So let's get this shitter out. And then, yes. This is gonna need unplugging to get it out of the way. And I think that's pretty much it ready to pull the door card off, which if I can get something underneath it, should just pull off. Should be in the operative word. Yes. And then, once it's released on the clips at the bottom, it lifts off of here. And we have a cable connecting that, but I don't really need to take that off. And we can immediately see that the, um, fucking hell. Right, so now I've released these wires and unplugged the speaker to give myself a bit more room. We can actually see where the water's coming down. If we see it there, we can see a previously bodged repair by someone. I'm not sure who's done that. Um, but there is... This is a big fucking hole there. So I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to start again. Just get rid of this. All together. And I'm mainly concentrating on this bottom edge to get all this shit off. 
which is a bit of a twat to get off actually. It's not nice stuff to take off. Now, if you want to repair this yourself, if you're going to do this yourself, you might actually want to buy a vapor barrier from BMW or whatever and get the right sealant. But I have neither of those things, so I'm just going to have to do a burr grills and adapt and overcome to the situation. But this is slow progress, as you can see on the floor there. Slow progress is better than no progress. That's all I've managed to get off so far. So let's carry on and, and get as much as I can off before I get fed up. And I think that's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. So I'll use some of this special automotive um, internal door cleaner, specifically for the job. And just give it a bit of a wank off with this. To um, give it a better surface to bond to. And now we've got a clean surface to bond our uh, vapour barrier to, I can concentrate on creating the vapour barrier. So what I'm going to use, because it's what I've got, um, is an Asda's bag for life. Now it's important to get a bag for life, because you want it to last for life, this repair. Um, you, know, you don't want to use a shit carrier bag, because it might not last very long. Um, so where I'm going to put this is just where it was before, but I'm going to make sure it's stuck on the bottom, which it wasn't before. Now the original vapour barrier probably covers a lot more up, but this isn't like a proper by the book repair. This is like a get you out of the ship repair if you're you're bored on a Sunday morning and um you haven't got any parts to fix it but you want to fix your leaking car, which is sort of what I'm doing now. Um so I'm gonna cut this out using this nice perfect condition Stanley blade um to make it fit something like which leaves me with something like that, which is close enough and the perfect thing to seal our wrong vapor barrier with is the wrong type of sealant so just put a bit of this all around this edge so it's got a nice seal all the way around like this um, and then I can stick my bag on which I'm not going to be able to film because I have to do it with both hands, which is not going to be exciting to watch anyway, is it? Like the rest of the video. Now we just stick it to the silicon all the way around. And you'll just be able to see when it sticks because look, you can see it through the bag. It's like amazing and shit. Right, so the next step would be to let it dry um, and then cut off any bits that overlap and you can get we can get rid of really which I've, I've done anyway while it's still wet um because i can't bother waiting for it to dry if i'm going to bodge something i'm going to, I'm going to hardcore bodge it, not just half bodge it so i should really wait until it's dry to put the door card back on but i'm not going to wait until it's dry until i put the door card back on i'm going to do that now so not forgetting to plug the uh tweeter back in which is you know to the and um put this needs wiring through here for the switch so I need to put them through there before attempting to line this up like so. And then to put this back on now, you actually just put that, hook that back through there, and then these clips just push straight on. They don't have to hook it over anything else, you just push it straight towards the door. And as long as you line everything up, like these clips, well that one's broken actually, I'll have to get a new one, but all these clips around it, um, then it should just push back on. Yes. And now I've just got to put these screws back in, in the same places where they came out from. That's one. Talk to spec. And there is another one. Also, talk to spec. And another one. And then, of course, another one, that one there, too. But I fucked up filming that and didn't film it. Amazing. So now, let's put this back on. Which just plugs in and pushes in. You just put the plugs in it. In the same way that they came out. And they only fit in one way. And then it just drops in. And 
pushes in, as you can see. And then another piece. And not forgetting these that go and cover these holes up. And that's us pretty much finished. I'll just give this a quick wipe off because now it shouldn't have um, all this shit coming through all the time. So it might stay clean like so. So now that is pretty much it for this one. Um, yeah, I am aware that it is a rough as fuck repair, um, but it, it should work. It should stop water getting into there. And I haven't got a vapor barrier on me and I haven't got the right sealant on me. So I've just bodged it. And I am aware of that. I don't need to tell you that in the comments. Um, I think the main thing, if anything, there is, if there is anything at all worth taking away from this video, which there probably isn't, it is, if you've got water there, is where it's coming from. So anyway, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all the usual shit, and see you next time.